Hello and welcome to a new Blender tutorial. Last time we made an easy 2D mouth tutorial. Today we make an easy eyes rig tutorial. We will create the shape of the eyes. We will create the bone structure which uses only a few bones but it still can create a lot of shapes for the eyes. As you can see, we can make the guy angry or create anime style eyes. We can resize our irises and we can also close the eye with just one bone. We can resize even the pupils and we can even have alien eyes like this. The texture of the eyes that you see is 100% procedural. You can see the structure of nodes here and we will make all this step by step. And lastly, we will learn how to show shrink wrap the eyes around a 3d object like the sphere if you want this final file you can find it in the description on gumroad for four dollars along with a lot of other files some are free some are paid and everything is connected to free tutorials free content on this channel thank you so let's start modeling our eye let's hit 7 on the keyboard to see the viewport from above and then shift a mesh circle and in our settings here we change the number of vertices 6 enter and then we go to edit mode r z 30 degrees to have these two corners on the x axis here let's hit one now our x this time 90 degrees and this way our circle our low poly circle is vertical we move this guy to the left of the character then we hit f to fill this guy and then we go to the materials panel we choose a material from here let's name it stroke or eye stroke let's change the color to black let's go to material preview mode to be able to see our black color we hit i on the keyboard to inset and create our stroke let's add the subdivision modifier and change the levels to three on viewport and render let's add a second material let's keep it white for now and name it i inside left let's assign it to the face here that we just inset assign and now you see our stroke and we need to add another inset so i on the keyboard to confine the stroke on the outside just like we did with the mouth so i guess this is all the modeling we need to do for the eye there's one thing you can do for these edges here if you hit n you have this one mean crease so if we change this to one you can have a hard edge here on the sides and have this shape of the eye so this is optional let's put it back to zero and now let's duplicate our shape so we select everything and we go to mesh symmetrize everything disappeared so we need to go here and change the direction from minus x to x to x to minus x very nice now let's go to object mode and create the shape keys for closing the eye so we create the first shape key the basis the basis means the initial shape of our mesh and then we create another one we call this eye close left l for left then we go back to edit mode and while activating our subdivision modifier we can start shrinking these vertices here so we select the middle vertices remember to select your eye close l shape key and then you hit s z to resize on the z axis you can have this effect the eye basically disappear all your strokes disappear but i think i want to have some stroke some thickness to the eye so Control z enable overlays again sz resize like this i want to select these inside vertices sz again make the stroke larger and then we select everything again and then sz and move like this again we select these ones sz again we select everything sz and move like this i think i'm gonna keep it like this let's compare with the other eye so you see the thickness of this edge and i want this stroke to be as thick as the edge here or maybe a little bit thicker center versus again so sz again to make the white narrower so let's go back to object mode and test our shape key here so the value is zero if we slide it to one we can close the eye we do the second eye it's an easy step we just mirror the first shape key so we put the value to its max one 
and then we will create a shape key based on what we see on the screen so we hit the arrow here and new shape from mix and now we hit the arrow again and choose mirror shape key so now if we slide this value here we have so let's start rigging shift a armature single bone f2 to rename it to i rig go to edit mode let's resize it a little bit let's disable let's go here and disable the form because it won't deform the mesh shift D to duplicate it z to put it here let's rename it to i root let's hit three on the keyboard and rotate it r x 90 degrees move it here resize it by selecting this ball and then g y hit one on the keyboard and we will duplicate the spoon and create the root for the left eye rename i root dot left i'm gonna remove this space and change it with a dot so i dot root dot l f2 i dot root now we'll add bones to our left eye for that i will need to disable my subdivision modifier to be able to see my corners so select the armature again and go to edit mode and duplicate the sky here let's start by adding a bone to the center of the eye this one will control the left pupil r y 180 g z and move it here i think i'm gonna enable the wire edges display move it here then we create a bone that will control the closing of the eye shift d to duplicate this guy again r y minus 90 degrees and put it here i think i'm gonna make it bigger so g x let's duplicate this guy again r y 180 degrees move it here select this ball g x and make it smaller like this duplicate this guy and put it here this one will control the inside of the eye this one will deform the mesh let's name it i dot in dot l so this will be the bone to control the inside of the eye and then we add one here to control the outside so duplicate it x to move like this r y 180 degrees g x again make it a little bit bigger g x and name the sky i dot out dot l and now i will add a bone that will control these middle vertices so duplicate this one r y 180 degrees g z again so this ball move it like this i dot mid dot l so these three bones will be the form bones let's enable the form for these three the form here and the form here and then the form here let's move this root bone up a little bit and move this one down now we want all these bones to be parented to the root bone so select these guys and then shift select the root bone and then control p make parents and keep offset these two bones i will parent them to the main root bone so select this one shift select this one and then shift select this one Control p parent and keep offset this one will move the pupil we want to use parenting for this one because this bone is parented to this guy but we will use a constraint so let's go to pose mode you see if we move this guy it moves these bones it can rotate them and resize them too this one moves everything and this one i wanted to move this one so let's add a constraint to this guy we selected this one shift select this one Control shift c copy location let's go to the bone constraint properties change this to local space this two to local space and change the influence to 0.5 because like this we can move the bone using this one but we can't move this bone independently so we change it to 0.5 you can see that our movements are inverted so let's select this bone again and invert we select all these still not working for some reason let's go here to object data properties and check our viewport display enable axes to check the axes of these two bones here it's the z and the y but here the y and the x so i think i should rotate one of these bones let's go back to edit mode let's select this bone and hit n and go here to the roll and change it to maybe to zero maybe this is enough so let's hit one on the keyboard go back to pose mode and try again 
Hmm, I think I should move the X to the other side. To edit mode again, select again, and let's try 180. Back to pose mode. Now it's working. Go back to edit mode. I think the iris is the big one. So let's rename this iris L. And this one irises. And this one we name it pupil L. Just pupil L. Let's enable names here. Oh, I didn't rename this bone. I.close.l. Okay, so let's select our left bones. Shift select the root bone. We go to armature and symmetrize. And we have our right bones and they are named all with the dot R in the end. Let's test our driver. Yeah, it works fine with both eyes. Very nice. So let's connect our armature to our object. Object mode, select our eyes, select our armature. Control P, parent with empty groups. So let's go to edit mode and do just like we did with the mouse. So select the basis here. Select the first group, I in L, the left inside of the eye, assign. I out left, this one. I middle left, all these ones, assign. The inside of the eye, assign. The outside, assign. And last, select these guys and assign. Now we go to weight paint mode to check our painting. So everything seems right. Now let's go back to material preview, object mode, select our eyes and go to shading and let's create our materials. I think I'm gonna hide my rig. The eye inside left material is selected here. Let's start adding some notes. So the first thing we will add the circle for the eye. So shift A, S, vector, math. Here you go. Let's change the add to length. Texture coordinate node, connect the object to the vector, a color ramp, the value here to the fact, and connect everything to the principled PSDF. Shift A while your cursor is here, empty plane X. Let's move the empty with GX to the center of this eye, resize it, make it a little bit smaller. Control A apply scale f2 empty empty iris l and select the object here empty iris l and you see that our circle comes to rest here on our empty and then we change here linear constant and we move the slider and we have our eye a lot of the notes we will add are optional you could just have a black eye and it is already connected to our empty and can be used and then we will parent the empty to our armature but i will give you a full package here we will do a beautiful shaded eye it will be a complicated setup here so the first thing i will add another slider here plus and change its color to whatever i want let's make it a light green the next thing is i want to add the lines on the iris i will add a vernoy texture so v o I will add a mapping node. I think we should change point to normal. So connect it here. I will connect my texture coordinate, the object here to the vector. Then I will add a mix RGB to mix these two. Put it here. Let's try to align these nodes a little bit to have a bit of organization. Okay, let's create a color ramp. Connect the color here and connect the color there. And now we have these lines. To make them smooth, we will change here the F1 to smooth with F1 and I will change here from mix to overlay and now you can see that my lines are only on the eye and not on the white part of the eye we can adjust our lines a little bit either here you can also edit them from here and you can change the scale from here and have more lines so i think i'm gonna keep it like this now i will add a shadow on the top of the eye i will duplicate my mix rgb node shift t and put it here let's add a gradient texture put it here duplicate this color ramp shift t connect this guy here the other one to the mix rgb we change linear to spherical add another mapping node shift d place it here change here from normal i think it's texture that worked for me we plug this one here then the object here to the vector we should play with the scale here and see yes we can see our gradient now maybe one is so one was perfect we just needed to change the z here now we will add a reflection to the eye so let's duplicate again the mix rgb change overlay to mix shift a vector math node add a mapping node to mapping let's add a color ramp 
connect the color to the color the vector here to the fact the vector to the vector change the add to length let's connect object to vector and voila we have a circle here but it's a black circle we want a white circle so we invert these ones now we go here we try to change this circle to an oval change in here to texture change the scale the x i guess yes to have this oval here and then we rotate on i don't know the y axis yes on the y axis and then we move the location it shifts so the x and z i guess like this the alpha of the black part should be zero and we plug the alpha to the fact here and now i want some transparency for this white part so we select this slider and reduce the alpha a little bit and voila now we will add just one more shader for the closing of the eye we will add a black slider so let's add another mix rgb shift t put it here shift a s separate xyz you can use either one but this one is less confusing so let's add it let's add another color ramp plug the z to the fact the z is from bottom to above and create a gradient it's white in the bottom and black upside so it's like a horizontal gradient and that's what we need for our slider let's add a new texture coordinate this time because this one will be controlled by another empty so let's create that empty select this empty shift t duplicate it and put it here and then rename it to empty i close l select the i again connect the object to the vector and select our new empty i close this to color to here connect the alpha to here we will change linear to constant and move the slider here i think i should flip these guys let's see if it's working by moving this empty here so gz and move it like this and yeah we have our gradient so let's select our eye again and just change the alpha of the white part this time to zero let's put our empty back on top and we are done with our complex material here it is how beautiful is this node setup let's move these guys like this okay now let's do the other eye let's go to layout again create a new material choose our eye inside hit the two button to make it unique and rename it to eye inside r go to edit mode we select the center vertices all of them here using shift and we hit assign back to the shading object mod and we will create new empties so shift d x move it to the center of the other eye shift d and duplicate this one x move it here f2 empty eye close r and empty iris r select our eyes you see we have our right material selected here and we change the object here from empty iris l to empty iris r and here to empty i close r now let's unhide our rig go to layout panel let's do some adjustment of the empties so move this empty to the center of the ball here do the same here let's move this one empty to the center of this bones ball this empty to the center of this ball now we select our armature we go to pose mode make sure that in edit here you uncheck lock object modes so you can select your empty here make sure that no bone here is selected you select one empty here and then shift select your bone here and Control p to parent the empty to the bone and choose here bone we do the same here first to select all bones then select the empty shift select the bone Control p bone then deselect the bone Control p bone deselect the bone and Control p bone very nice let's deselect the select the bone you can see that it can move the eye and this bone can move the slider here now let's add some drivers so the first driver should be added to the shape keys let us select our eyes again go here and their eye close l we go to the value here right click add driver select your armature here eye rig and then select your bone eye close left this one and you see that it already closed the eye again right click and edit driver let's change this to just var change this to local space 
and the location I don't know which axis we should use so if select my bone and try to move it vertically I see that the Z is the one moving let's lock the other two guys and then again select my eyes right click edit driver choose the z location and now the bone will close the eye and also we'll move the slider to make everything black let's create the right driver so right click add driver select the armature select the right bone i close r local space z location select this bone and lock the x and the y and it should be working yeah it worked from the first time so sometimes you may have to change var to minus var to make it work sometimes it crosses the eye while the bone goes upside and not downside now let's go to the shading panel to adjust our black sliders a little bit so let's move this bone here now the eye is closed 100 percent let's move it down just a little bit more and then select our eye and go to this slider here make sure that you select your eye inside left material and move this guy like this till it closes the eye nice as soon as the eye is closed the slider comes in and makes everything black select the object again select this value here Control c select our other material Pass that value here Control v and let's try our other bone here g move it and yeah it works the same let's bring the drivers panel from here so drivers let's hit this arrow here to show all the drivers and let's make the drivers to delete our pupils we are in i inside r material you select this slider with this arrow or your mouse here and then right click a driver escape then we select the left one we select again the slider right click and add driver if you don't see it like this you will have to hit this arrow and then the second arrow so we have left and right let's start with the left one so we go here we select our eye rig pupil left bone x location i think because yeah i see the x is the one we need let's hit n here and lock the y and z you see it's already working word space to local space and now if we move this bone you see that it is the latin and shrinking the pupil but i want the pupil to be bigger when it goes down so here i need to make it minus var this number here is written here also so if i remove this it changes to zero let's try it that means here the pupil shrinks to nothing so just hit ctrl z and keep this value here but i will need to copy it to the other driver in case they are not the same values to have the same size of the pupil so this one is done let's select the other one let's go to the other eye select the rig again the pupil right bone x location again as you can see here it's also the x but it's inverted this one looks downside so i guess i won't need to add minus here so local space the value you see is not the same here and here so let's paste it Control v enter and now you see that we have the same size of the pupil let's test it yes it's working hit n and lock the y and z some people would add a limit location constraint so that the pupil doesn't go bigger than the eye but i don't see the need of that you may want to make your pupil big like this and have this alien eyes look so we'll keep it like this we are done here back to the layout panel choose our bones and try to move them we didn't test our rig yet you can see that we have these weird corners here just like with the mouth select the object back here to the modifiers and reorder these guys and now we have a smooth eye very nice let's try to close the eye try to move the irises and if you want to move both eyes the same way just enable the x here and you can have the same shapes of the eyes opening and closing the eyes in the same time if you want to make one eye bigger you can do that but first disable the x here 
and the reason we connected these two bones with a constraint is that we need them to go in the same direction if you use the mirror in here they go in opposite directions so i guess our eyes are done now let's try some shrink wrap let's add a sphere let's make it bigger hit 3 s resize it put it here hit one on the keyboard maybe move it a little bit up then select our eyes add a new modifier shrink wrap choose our sphere change this to target normal project this to outside surface and then let's add some subdivision to this guy select the eyes again and change the offset to 0 0.005 the pupils or the irises are not showing and that's because the bones of the iris is far from the eye if we go to pose mode and bring these bones g y closer to the eye now we have our eye but if we hit one and try to move the eyes our texture is not working that is because our bone is not on the surface this happened to us if you saw the mouth tutorial with the tongue that was shrinking when the bone moved and here i found a solution to fix that Control z bring the bones back to their place and then let's add another constraint it's called shrink wrap for bones and select our sphere and now you see that our bone is stuck to the sphere let's add the same constraint to the other eye bone shrink wrap select our sphere and here we go hit one on the keyboard and try to move this bone you see now our eyes look fine there is some movement in these lines some change in the lines but i think it looks good i think it's a nice look for cartoony eyes like this let's add sheet smooth to our eyes and sheet smooth to our ball too should we make our eyes bigger let's select the root bone and s resize let's resize the irises s try to close the eyes very nice g open and close we could also reduce the specular for the eyes so we go to the materials change the specular to zero here also here and here and we have this so this is it this is our cool 2d eyes tutorial thank you for watching and see you in another video peace